This is day two from iCast, and this is the Yak Attack booth, and this is going to be the new Tow and Stow scupper cart. For us, a scupper cart, we needed to elevate what a scupper cart was, and, and that's very much to me the Yak Attack way to take something that has been the status quo for so long and elevate it to something that, that we feel like it should be. Um, and so the first thing with the scupper cart, your normal post. What we wanted to add was some torsional support of these nice semi-firm rubber pads. And there's a nice concave geometry to them, so they're gonna form and mold to the underside of the boat, which is really nice. So it doesn't, depends on what model, it's gonna sit really nicely. You know, if you're someone that you're like, dude, I've got a Hobie, I, I'm just gonna use a basic scupper cart, cool, that's completely fine. All you gotta do is um, basically press a lever. And this is cool where you basically, these are able to twist off. And then you're actually able to uh, build almost your shocks right here. And then that's gonna be the support for the actual kayak. That For me, it's I like the concept of having the extra support underneath, so I'm gonna use it in the original configuration that we have over there that we showed at first. So that's just me. So you know, if I'm taking out a PA-14 um, in Outback, I'm gonna use it in that facet because um, that's, I wanna have that extra support. The kayak for me is an investment, so even if my kayak design is designed for a scupper cart, I want that extra support. So these will slide on and they twist the rotate and they're locked in place and to get it back on, it just goes down, locks in place. Another cool feature you'll see with the scupper cart is having the dual kickstands. That's the same as the rest of our tow and stow family. And then same thing you'll see is our anodized aluminum axle and our quick release tires. And a couple additional things is going to be in infinite adjustments along the axle. So a simple cam here and then the uprights are going to move wherever you need to. So it's going to fit a wide variety of boats. And then to me, the last piece that is probably one of the coolest features of this cart. Um, so if you're an angler where you transport your kayak in the back of a truck bed and you, you use a scupper cart, you have to go underneath of it, put it underneath the kayak through the scuppers, have some sort of retainment pin, a cotter pin, lynch pin to keep it from falling through. So what we did, and I'm going to turn this cart real quick. We built in into the top of the post. So what that is, is going to be um, a directional, one direction, very much like a barb on a hook. You're gonna be able to push it through your scupper and then it's gonna hold and retain. And so you're able to unload your boat very easily and simple. And when you don't need them, they just push right back in. So that is gonna be a quick overview of the tow and stow scupper cart. We're still on the final stages of development. Uh, we'll release the, the final launch date and the final MSRP, but our goal is we are shooting for later this year, probably a fall or winter option. And then the last piece is for anglers that either already have the tow and so bar cart, the bunkster, interested in the scupper cart, or whether you already have it and you wanna make a switch to a sand tire for certain situations, we are hot and heavy on developing a, a sand tire option. So. You know, still it's gonna have the tie down at the end of the axle, quick release functionality. And this is, it's a prototype right now, but I, we're shooting for our production color to be Yak Attack orange, just like all the accents on the rest of our carts. So that's something that we're working on very heavily, you know, from all the angular feedback and retailer feedback, everyone says, hey, I like the hard packed option, but we really need a sand tire. So, you know, and in general, sand tires work in a variety of instances and really float over a lot of terrain. So it could be a useful piece for your, you know, in your toolbox and for your next fishing adventure.